I'm going to show you the creation of this painting from start to finish. Here we go. Let's start then with preparing the canvas. As you can see, this is a canvas I've used before, but you know, it's all about recycling. It's perfectly good and as good as new. So the idea then is to create a wallpaper background. So this is inspired by the wild, funky, outrageous Victorian circa 1870 wallpapers that were very colorful, very gregarious, very out there. So this is my interpretation of that. So here I'm going to build up the colours layer upon layer, take some time, but it gets a real good kind of well, what we might refer to in the world of antiques patination. And the orange I'm adding here, this is going to represent the sun coming in from an open window. It will make sense. I don't know which way I'm going to put it yet, but here we go. There we go. That's the way I'm doing it. Picture the scene. That's a wall with a funky, wild, exaggerated Victorian wallpaper. I'm going to paint a painting hanging on the wall and it's going to be London, circa 1870. So this is taken from an old black and white picture of London. That's St. Paul's Cathedral. There you go, in the background. So you've got slum housing, industry, cottage industry, smoke, smog, activity, vibrancy and odours can you imagine so there's the painting appearing on the wall that's london So now sitting on the table to my right hand side is a lovely Blanc de Jean 19th century Chinese figure of Guan Yin, the Buddhistic goddess of mercy, representing good luck and compassion. So I'm going to paint her sitting on my table in the picture. And here comes a Chinese vase, positively bulging with flowers. And completed the Chinese vase finished off there with the ancient Chinese symbol for harmony wishing the owner of this painting harmony forevermore so the final title is London 1870 I'm David Harper thanks very much for watching until next time cheerio